that said, when will Carey Price return to the net for the Canadians? What would you expect to get back? Well, yeah, you know what? I just saw Carey. I'm at the practice ring here in Toronto. Um, he looks good. He looks fine. Uh, he's happy. Um, you know, uh, in my mind, Carey was supposed to play um, earlier uh, this week versus the Ottawa Senators, obviously because of uh, a virus uh, that went through his uh, family. He, he, you know, he, he didn't skate for a week to 10 days. So uh, now he's back on the ice. He still looks good. Um, you know, next week on Monday, they're playing uh, the Winnipeg Jets. I believe that that's really when he's going to uh, come back. But it, it's tough right now to, to be 100% certain because you, you need to, uh, first of all, know if he's going to get the green light to play. So he needs to talk to his doctor for that. Um, so we'll see how, how things are going to evolve. Probably we'll know more today, if not tomorrow. Um, and, and, and if there's a chance that he, he's playing on Monday, we'll, we'll let the, the world know. If not, uh, does it mean it's a step back? No. But the more he's going to play by the end of the se- season, I think it's really going to help him and the Montreal Canadiens to see what's next for him, um, especially during the offseason, what needs to be done. Uh, you know, Kerry wants to play. So that's the bottom line. And um, there's no, you know, he wants to win that Stanley Cup. So I don't know where, where that will be, if it's in Montreal or if he wants to stay with the Canadians, it's his choice. But uh, one thing for sure, I don't believe that Kerry Price is done. Renault, with 11 games to go, do you feel like there's a, a strategy of X amount of games or do you just get that first one and see where it goes from there. Yeah, I, I think it. I, I think you just nailed it because you need to see. You know, practicing is one thing, especially for goalie. Playing is totally another. And and believe me, if you look at Carey Price uh, first practices when uh, he came back, uh, uh, maybe three weeks ago. I'm telling you, even during morning skates, he was pushing really, really hard to see how his knee's going to react. And he was there the next day. That was a, a real positive. You see that and the swelling is not uh, is not an issue anymore, which is, like, really, really good for him. He's pushing hard. Um, he's trying hard. After that, well, that's a practice. And you know how it is. During games, you're going to be pushed around. Uh, you're going to have players on you. Probably one of your D is going to touch you, is going to fall on you. So, how is he going to react after that? That's another great question. So they're, like I mentioned, they're playing uh, Monday uh, versus the Jets at home. After that, they're playing in Columbus. I believe that if he wants to play, he, he's going to return in front of his uh, his fans and the Montreal Kings fans, not necessarily in front of uh, the Blue Jackets fans. Now, looking at the the way the season has gone for the Canadians, it's been a remarkable turnaround for Cole Caulfield since uh, Marty St. Louis yeah. has taken over. He's fifth in rookie scoring now, or for goals anyway, yeah. um, right behind Trevor Zegers. Like, the guy's just climbing the list here. 17 goals now. You know, what's changed? Has it, do you notice him being a more effective guy now, or is it just finally going in for him? You know, I think it's all mental. Yeah. And you're going to call me crazy, but it's all mental. It was the training camp uh, for the Canadians was way too hard. Um, and I, I'm talking not, not only, uh, you know, uh, regarding what happened to Cole Coffey, but as a whole, as a team, way too hard. These guys were exhausted. They started losing games after uh, another. And it was really, really tough to, uh, to go at the rink. And it was... Uh, nothing was going in the right direction. And when Cole Caulfield is not smiling, you see that there's an issue. If that guy is having fun around his teammates, um, he, 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 when he's coming to the rink and he's getting his coffee and he, he's in the middle of a conversation and everybody's laughing at him, you know that things are going really, really well. He, he likes to steer the pot. He, he likes to be a good teammate. Um, you, you see him on the ice, it's easy to, to see if he's, uh, you know, having fun out there and he's always competing now with Carey Price and if it's not Carey, it's Brendan Gallagher. They're all over each other after practices. That's Cole Caulfield. It's all about having fun, playing the game the right way, scoring goals. Uh, and I, I, and Martin Sandley, which is really interesting, is always saying he needs a swag. When he's playing with his swag, he, that's, that's where and that's when he's really good. So probably the only... 
you know, I, I remember, especially in Vancouver, Mark, then giving him some tips on what to do uh, with the puck uh, in the high circle. Uh, that was interesting. Uh, he scored a goal like, like exactly like that this week. But otherwise, I think it's more mental than anything else. And that what Martin told him is, you need your swag back. If you don't have your swag, and Martin was the guy with a, you know, a big smile on the eyes too. He was a real pro when he was playing, but he had a swag about him, about himself. And that's exactly what you see with Cole Caulfield. Like when he feels like he's in the middle of everything, well, you know, it's a good day. And obviously, when you score 16 goals in 26 games. Things are going really well for you. The swag started the day they fired Dom 